All right, man. What is up, y'all, man? Uh, top of the afternoon, to everybody. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. Hope everybody got, got their payday today. But um, let me talk about the video that I set the record straight about it. You know, I done that. You can say I done that out of fucking yeah. It was out of anger. Don't get shit twisted. And just for the fact to expose motherfuckers for who they are. It's a bunch of fake ass individuals nowadays, especially in 2019, going on to 2020 and everything. And um, yeah. It's not my family drama at the end of the day. Like I said in all my videos, in-laws are not your real family members. But the thing is, ooh, got the AC on and everything. Is the issue that I have is like every time my name always comes up in something, and like I said, it's fucking hate and fucking envy. Is like I said, it's not my fault that these individuals go through what they go through. It's not my. It's not my problem. You know, at the end of the day, that individual is sleeping with that fucking male person, whatever. You know who the fuck you are if you see this fucking video, you know. And what I'm doing out here is going to be beneficial. I know it, and I see it already, and I feel it coming. So as long as I'm staying positive, as long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you know, I'm not even, um, tri I'm not even tripping about it. It's just that I just had to let that out of my system. I'm not going to sit here and continue to let myself get fucked over by anybody and and anybody no i'm going to speak up i'm going to say how the way i feel and that's just how the way i do things and that's why i made that video yesterday and i said it how the way i felt and it's fucking true it's fucking true that family expected me not to be nothing with my damn self till this day while i'm talking right now and I'm using that as motivation to keep smashing on these. I'm gonna go work a regular nine to five, then let it be. That's my life, my choice. I'm not finna sit up here and go back to a regular nine to five and make peanut ass money by the hour and then let alone deal with managers, resource people, all the politics and the bullshit that goes on during the day at these uh, workplaces where these personnel or employees Bring their problems from their household to work and take it out on their employees. I'm not going back to that. Hell no, I'm not going back to that. And I had to talk to my baby mama about this. I'm not going back to that to that type of situation. She's been down with me since day one when I didn't have shit. I didn't have nothing coming up. I was broke getting out of high school. I didn't have no car, nothing. And everybody fucking dissed my ass and dissed the fuck out of me. Like... Like I've been there and I fucking been I've been there done that and I've been through it. And I put that and I'm putting this video out and I'm putting another video out because as motivation to people out here to keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing you. Keep being yourself. Don't be like these fucking pendejos out here uh who can't even afford a new car note, but they still go out here and go buy a brand new car just to fucking prove something to people. Come on now. What type of shit is that? To be a part of that. That's why I don't wear skinny jeans. It's why. I don't wear this tight ass clothing. Jury, I don't give a fuck about. Now, yeah, you know me. You know what I'm saying? You know, y'all know what I mean. Y'all know, you know. I keep it a little fresh and everything. Keep all this cleaned up and all that. Shout out to my barber, by the way. Um, as a matter of fact, not to get off track or whatever. I'ma try to get them on get them on the uh, show and everything Saturday while I'm getting my hair cut and everything. You know what I mean? But uh, everything, I'm gonna continue to do me. I'm gonna continue to be myself. And stay smashing on these motherfuckers out here and use all of this shit that I've been through for motivation and to keep going and to keep elevating myself up to all the way up to the top. And I can't do this without my baby mama being here. I can't do it without her. Say it away. I, I can't do it without her. And um, she's been there since day one. I got another video coming later on today about that. And um, I'm gonna let her break it down. How it was before, how it was before to where we are now. For everything, man. One thing about me. You know, I just had to learn just to forget shit. Wait, to forgive, move on, but I'm not gonna forget. And like I said in other videos, I'm not gonna fuck with them. That's just it. I'm gonna keep my distance, do what I gotta do, keep doing this YouTube stuff and stay on track and um, do my best to stay out of trouble, do my best to stay out of jail and just, you know what I mean? Keep bringing y'all the content that y'all like and everything, man, for real. Uh, like I said, that's been rocking with me since I have four subscribers on here. Since I have four, I start off with four, man, and I really appreciate that, man. And um, I mean, I go through things just like you guys go through things. So on my channel, my shit is not gonna be scripted, none of that bullshit. 
you know, I might do pranks. I'm thinking about doing some funny shit like that. But as a matter of fact, I go through ups and downs just like everybody else. And uh, and uh, yo, yo no soy perfecto. Nah, -uh, I'm not perfect, man. I can say that right now. I'm not perfect. I am not perfect at all. So I made my mistakes that I made. I done the things that I done. You know, shit like that. I owned up to it. Learn from it. Move on. That's it. And that's all. I, that's all I pretty much tell everybody. You're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna commit sin. It's gonna happen. Learn from it. Admit to it. You know. Move on. That's it. That's all you can do. Don't just sit here and live your life in the past. Um. Don't don't yeah. Don't live your life in the past, man, because it's gonna fuck you up. And um, like I said. That significant other in your life is there for a reason. Right now, as I'm talking right now and everything, the only person that I trust is the mother of my kids. That's all I trust. As far as I go to anybody else, nah. Hell no. Hell no. My family come first. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is, homies. Family come first. Family's first. And I didn't have no money. Well, I have money, but checks about and everything. Who is there for me? Supporting me. Not financially wise, but just being there. My my fucking wife was there. Everybody else, tch, nowhere to be found and shit. Nowhere to be found. Or, uh, if I know your Instagram stuff and everything, I'll put it on there. But I don't know about heart or whatever. But I got your Instagram and everything. You know? It's all but hate and negativity. And by the way... He's black. This is one thing that don't go on in black communities that need to happen more. Is that he congratulated me for where I'm at, success-wise. Every time he sees me, and this is real shit, and he's black. This is the type of shit that needs to go on more in black communities, though. Real talk. Congratulated me on the success and just told me just... Just let these people be. Pray. Pray every day and night. And uh, let the highest one up there take care of their asses. Because uh, karma's real. Uh, if you continuously put out negativity, all you're going to get back is negativity. If you continue to put out nothing but positivity and positive vibes, you're going to get that back in return. And that's what I've been getting back so far. It's nothing but positive and good results. Man, other than that, y'all, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, all that shit. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, Darrell underscore LB562.